Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Latina collab. This was put on by Alex from According to Alex. She thought about this great idea to get a bunch of Latinas together and do a group collab. I'm so honored and grateful and thankful that she asked me to be a part of this collaboration. So thank you girl for asking me to join in on this collab. I was super excited to be able to be a part of this. And the three fellow beautiful ladies that will be also in this collaboration is Love My Mommy Life, Dolce Mom Life, and Betsy. Betsy, I'm not even going to try to attempt to say your last name because I know myself and I know I'm going to butcher it. So I'm going to leave the link down below to everyone's video so you can go check them out and see what their answers were for these 10 questions. There will be 10 questions in this video. So definitely remember to go check everyone out. They're all amazing, beautiful women that I think that if you are not already subscribed to, you should definitely go check them out and support them. If any of you guys are coming from any of these fellow ladies channels, then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom to two little ones and I enjoy doing a bunch of different videos here on my channel. So I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and joining me and my YouTube family. So like I said, there are going to be 10 questions in this video. I have them all down on this piece of paper, so I won't forget any of the questions. Question number one is, what is your Hispanic heritage? I am Puerto Rican, my mother is Puerto Rican, and my father is Puerto Rican. I don't know my father, I don't really have a relationship with him, but from what I know, he was born in Puerto Rico. Question number two is, do you speak Spanish at home to your children? The answer is no, just because my Spanish is horrible, guys. I don't ever speak Spanish to anyone because it's just that bad. My mom never really spoke to me, my sister, in Spanish. It was just my grandma and like my aunts that would speak to us in Spanish. So the Spanish that I do know is not very good. It's more like Spanglish and I just don't want to teach my kids the incorrect way of speaking in Spanish. So I leave that to like my grandma. My grandma's first language was Spanish. So I just let her talk to my kids in Spanish and stuff. I do say a few words here and there to them in Spanish, but as far as communicating in full on sentences, no, I don't. Question number three is how many nationalities do your kids identify with? Two, my husband is white Caucasian and then I am Puerto Rican, so they are half white and half Puerto Rican. Question number four is do your children understand or speak Spanish? That kind of goes back to question number two about me speaking Spanish in my house. As most of you guys know, my daughter is autistic and she is nonverbal, so she does not talk at all. And my son, he can understand a few words in Spanish. He can say a few words in Spanish as well. But as far as carrying a conversation and telling you full sentences, no, and I should probably get a little better with that. But like I said, my Spanish is horrible. So usually when I go back home, I'll have my grandma speak to the kids in Spanish. Number five is what are a few stereotypical Latina mom things that you can identify with? I don't know if these will qualify for the stereotypical Latina mom things, but I'm still going to mention them. First thing I'll say is Vicks. A lot of Hispanic people use Vicks for everything. They think it's the cure for everything. And I definitely use a lot of Vicks in my house. When my kids get sick, I rub it all over their chest. I rub it on their feet. And I do believe that it helps them recover when they are sick. I know my family used to always do it to me and my sister. So now I do that to my kids. Another thing is adobo. I use adobo on everything. I always have it in my house. And I season pretty much everything with that. Um, another thing I would say is... The chancleta, my mom used to always use the chancleta on me and my sister. I don't technically use it on my kids, but I do scare them with it. I will pick up my chancleta and I will let them know that mama ain't playing and they better listen to me and it usually works. Question number six is how involved is Abuelita in raising your kids? My mom unfortunately does not live here in Georgia. She lives back home in Florida, so she's not as involved as I would like her to be. We do FaceTime and visit each other every so often. She actually was here last week. And then I usually go back home to Florida at least twice a year. So when we are together, she is very involved and hands-on. Question number seven is, do you cook any of your country's dishes for your kids? If so, which one? Unfortunately, I don't cook that much Puerto Rican food just because my husband is the pickiest eater. I'm telling you guys, he just likes bland, plain food. He is the pickiest eater I've ever met and it drives me absolutely insane because I love Puerto Rican food and he doesn't. So the only things that he will eat 
if I make is like rice and beans and then I do make empanadas. He likes empanadas. So that's like the only thing that I can make that he will eat. And then also when we do go back home for the holidays, my grandma would usually make um, bengni and he will eat that too. But other than that, he just doesn't like Hispanic food, unfortunately. So like I said, I think empanadas, rice and beans, chicken, those are probably just the main things that I probably make in my house because of my husband. But if it wasn't for him being so picky, I would definitely be making a lot more dishes. Number eight is, do you or your children listen to music in Spanish or watch Spanish programming? As far as Spanish programming, no, I don't think we really ever have a Spanish channel on in the house. But as far as music, yes, we do listen to Spanish music. I love Spanish music. My son actually really loves Spanish music as well. He'll try to sing along with it even though he doesn't know what he's saying or understand what they're saying, but he really loves it. I love Selena. I love um, Elvis Crespo. I love Mark Anthony, Tito Nieves. So those are just a few people that I do listen to at home. I love putting on music when I'm cleaning my house or we have a get together. So yes, we do listen to Spanish music in the house. Question number nine is, what does it mean to you to be a Latina mom? It's very important to me to being a Latina mom and being Puerto Rican. I love asking my grandma about our heritage and learning new things every day. I feel like I'm always learning something new. I also really love sharing all the food I grew up with with my kids and trying to teach them what I do know. I think it's so important to teach my kids both sides of their heritage. I want them to learn and know about their white side, but I also want them to learn and know about the Puerto Rican side of their mama. I think being Latina is very important and special. We love family, we are very family oriented. We love getting together and having get togethers and just enjoying each other's company. And I think I grew up with a lot of my family who was so close and we used to do so much together. I definitely wanted to pass that along to my kids. And although I was not born in Puerto Rico, nor did I ever live in Puerto Rico, I still am very, very proud of my background, my heritage, and I'm proud to be Puerto Rican and I wouldn't change it for the world. And then the last and final question, question number 10 is going to be, do you have any pet nicknames for your kids in Spanish? I only have one pet nickname that I call both my kids, which is Cosita Linda. I think I've been calling them that ever since they were born. So I think that would be the only nickname that I have for them in Spanish. And I think I'll probably still be saying Cosita Linda to them even when they're 20 years old and probably annoyed with me. But yeah, that is going to be the last and final question for this Latina collab. I enjoyed so much doing this collab. I'm so glad that I was a part of this collaboration. Okay guys, so that is going to end today's collaboration video. I'm so happy and glad that Alex asked me to be a part of this collaboration. I really enjoyed doing this video. I haven't really seen any videos like this out there, so I think it's awesome that she thought about this idea and decided to include me in it. So thank you again so much, Alex, for including me in this collaboration. Please remember to go check out everyone else's channels. Their links are going to be down below. Definitely show them some love and subscribe to their channel. Let them know I sent you. Okay, so I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.